Are you ready, folks? Everything's about to change. The whole world is about to change. The supernatural will soon overcome the natural. The supernatural will become commonplace. The world will embrace the the supernatural realm like it's the natural realm. Soon, the world will be immersed into Satan's kingdom. Much like it was the time of Moses, when magicians were able to turn rods into serpents. Stay tuned for this important message. The Prince of Darkness is bringing his full wrath in these last days, and overcoming the dragon ministry stands ready to defend the gospel and overcome his lies with the sword of the Spirit, which is the Word of God. Brother Skinner relentlessly marches forward through enemy lines, tearing down Satan's strongholds and setting the captives free. Your investment in this ministry, large or small, will be rewarded in this life and the life to come. God bless you. This world no longer has any desire for that which is natural. They want something beyond the natural. Now, unfortunately, they're not seeking in the right place. This world has an appetite. They have a hunger and a thirst for something beyond the norm. Something beyond the physical realm. They are longing and desiring to tap into something beyond this world. And they're going to, they're going to get it. They're going to get it. What they call the new age. uh, It's coming. And uh, Babylon eventually is going to fall upon this world. That spiritual city Satan has prepared. Just like the Lord has a kingdom and has a city, the new heavenly Jerusalem, so the devil, he also has a city. He has a kingdom. And Babylon will soon fall upon this earth. It will come down upon this earth. This world is about to enter into a realm that we're about to read to you right now from the book of Revelation. It won't be just, you know, as it has been. It's That's going away. Very soon you will see technology. It won't be about computers altogether. It won't be about metal. It won't be about computer chips. It will be about trying to produce some kind of humanoid that is supposed to be more intelligent than a human. We see in the scripture, in the book of Revelation, this very thing. How it is unfolding right now before our eyes. Man is pushing the envelope. They are determined, even as back in the day of Nimrod, building the Tower of Babel, they were determined to build a tower to reach heaven. So in this generation, man is determined to try to make themselves God. Where they become supernatural, where they become indestructible, where they even are trying to live forever. Turn with me, if you will, to the book of Revelation, chapter 13. Revelation, the 13th chapter, 
We're going to begin reading in verse 11. And I beheld another beast coming up out of the earth. And he had two horns like a lamb. And he spake as a dragon. Now notice, it doesn't say that this beast is coming out of the sea. This beast is coming out of the earth. Which makes sense because the Bible says the Antichrist is going to ascend from the bottomless pit. We know the bottomless pit is in the center of the earth. Are you listening? I beheld another beast, it says, coming out of the earth, up and out of the earth. And he had two horns like a lamb. He's like a lamb. But he spake as a dragon. Are you listening? A lot like Donald Trump. I feel like every president of the United States has gotten us closer to what the Antichrist is going to be like. We all, th- everybody thought Obama was the Antichrist because he so fit that description. But now we have someone that tries to wear the horns of a lamb, but yet he has the mouth of a dragon. Still not the Antichrist, though. Because the Antichrist is going to come out of the supernatural people. Not out of this realm. The, the Antichrist is not on this earth being prepared, a man that's going to be fe- filled with the devil, no. The Antichrist is coming from another world, another realm. And this world is preparing for it right now. Satan is preparing this generation right now through the New Age movement. Preparing people's minds, getting them ready. Are you listening? Preparing their minds to accept that which is not real. Through virtual reality. Trying to get them to the place where you blur the line between reality and non-reality, right? You, You blur that line where no longer reality is no longer reality. That's what Satan's doing. He's making the transition to be as smooth as possible from this realm into that realm. Amen. Listen to what's going to happen in that realm of Satan, in that realm of the supernatural the world is heading into. Listen what's going to happen. He exerciseth all the power of the first beast. That's the false prophet. Before him, and he causeth the earth and them which dwell therein to worship the first beast, whose deadly wound was healed. And he doeth great wonders. Did you hear that? That's not the physical people. This is supernatural. He doeth great wonders, so that he maketh fire come down from heaven on the earth. In the sight of men. That's not something you do in the physical realm. That's something that God is going to allow Satan to do through the Antichrist and deceive masses of people because the world's going to believe the gods have come down, right? They're going to believe that this supernatural realm has now come to the earth and people are going to be mesmerized by this. But folks, listen, this is what they've been looking for. This is what they've been longing for. Just look at all the movies that came out about all the superheroes, right? This is what they want. That's what this generation wants. They want an anti or a Christ figure or a God figure that is like Superman or someone that's supernatural, right? Someone that has supernatural power. And God's going to give it to them. Oh, yes, he is. And he doeth great wonders, so that he maketh fire come down from heaven on the earth in the sight of men. You've seen super uh, super figures do that, right? You've seen you've seen superheroes, quote unquote, do that in the movies. He deceiveth them that dwell on the earth by the means of those miracles. How did he deceive the people? Was it by his words? No, he deceiveth them that dwell on the earth by the means of those miracles which he had power to do in the sight of the beast, people. Are you listening? 
saying to them that dwell on the earth that they should make an image to the beast which had a wound by a sword and did live. Now listen. And he had power to give life unto the image of the beast. Now, when I looked up these Greek words trying to understand this image of the beast, it's a lot like what Nebuchadnezzar, he had a statue set up that looked like himself. And the Antichrist is going to have an image of himself on the earth that he's going to have people worship. Now, the interesting thing about this statue is that the Antichrist, or the power of the dragon, which is Satan, is going to make that statue come to life, people. I'm not making this stuff up. You can't make this stuff up. I'm telling you, this is not coming out of some Hollywood movie. The devil has the power to make an actual statue of stone or whatever they're going to make the statue out of. It's going to come to life. And the Bible says that that image is going to speak. You think it's uh, okay to play with God? You think it's okay to play with the truth? You think it's a laughing matter? God is sending a strong delusion, people. If it were possible, the very elect are going to be deceived. This image, this statue that has been sculptured and made as an image in the likeness of the Antichrist, the second beast, is going to be given life. Are you listening? And it's going to speak, the Bible says. And it's this image that's going to speak that the world is going to listen to. Are you listening to me? Like an oracle, if you will. And he caused them as many as would not worship the image of the beast, just like Nebuchadnezzar, just like Nebuchadnezzar, should be killed. You remember at the time of Daniel and the three Hebrew children, if they didn't bow down and worship the image of the beast, they would be cast into the fire. Well, the Antichrist is going to rule his kingdom much in the same way, people. But you must understand that this world is headed into a new age. They are going to be submerged into a supernatural realm where it's not going to be about the physical realm anymore. Are you listening? They're not calling this uh, the the revolution of the industrial revolution and then now going on to, uh, let's call it the computer revolution. No, they're calling it the information age. Are you listening? They want information. Isn't that what the devil said through the serpent to Eve? We're going to make you wise. We're going to give you knowledge. We're going to give you wisdom. Isn't the Bible say in the book of Daniel that knowledge shall be increased and many shall run to and fro? What is this desire that man has? He's hungering. He's thirsting for knowledge information he wants to know something right well see for you and i brothers and sisters it's not about knowing something if for you and i it's about knowing someone amen it's about knowing jesus hallelujah we're not interested in knowing information having knowledge we're interested in getting to know jesus well the world is interested in knowledge they that's what they consider it being enlightened To be illuminated means they acquire more and more knowledge, more information. You've heard the term, knowledge is power. Have you not heard that term, knowledge is power? Everything that's going on right now with the supercomputers, Google, and all the, you know, putting all this information into a computer, and Watson, and IBM, and all this foolishness, is man's desire that is just I don't know which word you would use but just this desire insustainable I don't know what the word I want to use but some word that describes that they're never satisfied there's this 
hunger and this thirst within man to have more knowledge, to understand, you know, the universe and understand all, you know, but they don't have a desire to know God. Isn't that sad? They don't have a desire to know the Creator that created all these things. Instead, they find themselves wanting to know more about what He created versus the Creator Himself. Isn't that sad? I mean, who, who wants to know about what God created when you can get to know the Creator? I'd rather know the Creator than to know what He's created. Amen? I want to know Him. I want to know the one behind it, behind the master mind. You know, I want to know the one that created all things and the designer and the one that was the, you know, that uh, put the blueprints together. And you know what I'm saying? I want to know the one that authored it. I want to know the, the one that is the, where the inspiration came from. I want to know the one where the source of this is. Amen. I don't want to know about what he made or what he created. That's that's, you know, that's limited. You're never going to get to know the Creator by getting to know His creation. And that's what man's doing today. It's called reverse engineering. That's what they're trying to do with creation. They're trying to reverse engineer so they can become God, even. You understand? But folks, we're headed into a supernatural age. Okay, Harry Potter is not just a movie. We're headed into a, 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 an age of magic. We're headed into an age when it goes back to what we see in the book of Exodus with Moses and, and the magicians of Pharaoh. We're headed back there again to that same kind of darkness, that same kind of evil where man doesn't think it's anything. When supernatural things take place, they just love it. They enjoy it. They're mesmerized by it. They don't realize how dangerous it is. Are you listening, people? It's very dangerous. This image that's going to supernaturally become alive, it doesn't say it'll be able to walk. It doesn't say it'll be able to move. It says it will just be able to speak. Like the oracle we read about in you know the, the oracle of delphi that we see in the book of acts where paul came along and saw this image set up and he said it's had a sign and it says to the unknown god and paul said you're all too superstitious how many know we're living in a generation of superstition where everything has a spiritual or a supernatural uh Meaning behind everything, you know. Everything's supernatural. You know, you just talk to Will Smith and you'll find out how supernatural and superstitious he is. But Hollywood's being taken over by this right now. Just the world is being submerged into this idea, every just into a supernatural, a spiritual realm where they're leaving the physical realm. And... It makes sense now how a generation of people, how people will be willing to listen to the voice of an image that speaks. Listen to what the voice is going to say. He causeth all both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads. Who's doing this? It's the image of the beast that's speaking and giving this inspiration. And the Antichrist is listening to this image and he's causing the world to worship the image. You see, the Antichrist altogether is not going to desire to be worshipped at first. He's going to get the world to worship the image first and then he's going to sit himself in the temple showing himself that he's God, brothers and sisters. Wake up and realize what's going on here. You don't think that the computer, you don't think that the technology today has a part in this? Oh, yes, it does. Where do you think the name Oracle came from? 
Oracle used to be against IBM, and now they're buddies. Now they're friends, and they're working together. How many know IBM was the ones that created the numbers that were put on the Jews during the Holocaust? And Oracle is now working with IBM. Are you listening? This is going to be a mixture of demon power in technology, without question. And it's happening. It is happening. We're watching right now before our eyes what they call Watson. And there, there are doctors, there are hospitals using Watson now to give them the answer and solution to medical problems. I don't know about you, brothers and sisters, but I don't want no computer, no uh, artificial intelligence, uh, you know, determining what I need for my body. Because it has a, uh, you know, endless supply of information and knowledge and it, and it takes all that information and mines through it and pulls out. Listen, when I listened to the demonstration of Watson... And I heard them um, ask Watson the question about um, are, are violent video games good for children to watch? The answer that Watson gave back, I read that myself on the internet. So it wasn't that Watson scurried the whole internet and, and brought back it. And, and, no, the answer he gave is the same answer that, that has been on the internet for a long time now. The thing of it is, is that man doesn't believe it and man doesn't do it. They say it, right? They say that it's dangerous for young people to watch dangerous video games and play video games that are violent because eventually they'll act them out, right? They've been saying that for a long time, but they don't do anything about it. How many young people today at at home with their parents, with their dad or with their big brother or sister or whatever, playing violent video games? And they're acting it out in real life, people. All right? It's interesting to me that for a demonstration on Watson, they would even use that question because that's one of the biggest things that Satan's using in this hour to destroy this generation is the video games, is the violent video games. I've told you many times, I can't even put up a video and put the word war in the video on YouTube and it's going to be demonetized immediately. But yet you put a video game of violence, even called North Korea, as long as it's a video game, it can be modernized to the hilt. It's hypocrisy, it's evil, it's wicked, people. Now, you have heard me read to you from the book of Revelation that this image of the beast at first will be worshipped. And it will be the Antichrist and the false prophet will tell the world to worship this image. But eventually, it won't be just worship the image of the beast anymore. Eventually, it will be worship the Antichrist. Are you listening? And uh, so, it's going to start out with the image. And we're watching, I believe, the image of the beast already being prepared. I believe that. But you must understand that this is not just a this is not just totally completely supernatural this is going to be a mix together with technology and human and demonic it's going to be a mix together i don't know altogether what's going on people i just want you to know that we're entering into a realm of the supernatural and things that are going to take place on this earth you and I are going to say that couldn't have happened a few years ago. There's no way that could have happened. And I want you to understand we're moving into a realm that the Bible calls lying signs and wonders that the Antichrist is going to have the ability to work miracles, people. Are you listening? So that's what this message is for, is to prepare you, wake you up, make you realize that you know it's not going to be just the physical realm going forward it's we're moving into a supernatural realm all right praise the lord and i would certainly like to hear your comments on this